Hi guys, good afternoon. Just got midday here, so let's have a quick look over some of the markets. First trading day of the week. Uh, Euro, you, know, you may have seen my video yesterday going over the, the setups for the week and, and nothing has changed from that, uh, really. It's a relatively quiet day on, on the front of the Euro down. Well, it's pretty much flat for the, the day at the moment, down three and a half ticks. Get the trend line on, on the daily because the, ba the main move would happen to the downside if that goes. To the upside as well, um, really looking above last week's high. If it doesn't get above there, it's going to stay choppy within that range uh, for the time being. I think uh, this, this level here is worth keeping an eye on. I know it's basically on our trend line now, but you can see we can't quite close below there. Um, so another reason why the, the moment, the bulls of the euro are, are happy enough as long as it stays above that trend line we can push higher i think it's one of those ones where a lot of people are waiting uh, for the trend line to go so once it does you may well get that big follow through that people want uh s p is well a nice little risk on morning um and it's at an area where people would take profit if you're long from the morning or or well, last few days really from playing that range down the bottom this is a nice place to take profit if it goes through here you know, while I would say de-risk de around sort of 29.13, 29.50, the overall target for that. To the downside, uh, well, the Bulls would need to defend 28.63. And, you know, that's at the moment not a bad place to potentially get long. So the low there, yeah, okay, we can drift back lower is how I'd look at it. But overall, you can see, I'm just going to remove everything here. We're in a range, really. I don't think people can get too excited about a move one way or the other unless we break out of that so you know above the, the highs around 29.50 or below these lows which have been a fantastic place to get long um, I would be surprised if we don't test that the higher range although this area as we've seen is very important maybe a little pullback down towards our 28.66 level could be on the cards uh, gold silver this morning pushing higher um, nicely Gold almost at that, that high of the year. Silver likewise. I'd be looking for pullbacks for those still. Oh, look at that silver. Beautiful, beautiful move. Um, but for gold, keep a, an eye on those previous highs that we've had from those previous days. At the moment, they're, they're holding up relatively well. A lot of support around this this point uh, here. So, you know, choose your, your pullback wisely. Obviously, we're coming into that period where volume's starting to pick up a bit uh, as well. The pound negative interest rates was the, the headline that gapped us a tiny bit lower overnight. If we have risk on, the pound may well have to you know push above these levels. It'd be interesting to see what happens on a retest of that. I actually do hold the view that a long is coming. Just not right yet. I think, well, Brexit uh, is coming back into the headlines. We're going to have to see a bit of an unwind. However, I will let price tell me when, when that is... Uh, you know, no longer correct. So I do like the long at the moment. I think that long could be above somewhere like here, above one twenty two forty three. Uh, the retest of those lows. Let's keep an eye because that could well come in today. One twenty one sixty six. We're 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 basically flat for the day, up four, helped by a bit of risk on. But uh, Brexit should weigh on things, uh, and also the the negative interest rate talk gathered a bit of momentum. Uh, but quiet in currency land for, for now. Equity started nicely, but key resistance. Euro keeper, obviously a watch on that trend line. Gold, perfect scenario at the moment for it to keep raising higher. It's just how long this FOMO move will last before we get a bit of a pullback. Hope you'll have a, a good rest of your Monday, guys, uh, and a good trading week ahead.